Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're well, had a great weekend and it is Monday so that means one thing. We're back with a brand new team today on the channel after saying farewell to our Zygod Sogolea team last week on Friday. We had such a great time playing that team and I hope you really enjoyed it. It was just a really nice to see the transition, testing different things with the team, featuring Tyranitar and Raikou as well. It was a lot of fun, like I say, if you missed any of the episodes from the last couple of weeks and would like to go and take a look at the team, the archetype, the core of that Zygarde Sogaleo. You can go back up here, I'll put a card in for you and check those out. But getting on to today's episode and this week, I've concocted an idea to play a brand new team every single day on the channel this week. Some of them will be very gimmicky, some of them will have a lot of memes in them, some of them will be just a little bit different from what you're usually used to seeing in the format, just to be a little bit more fun as we go into the last two weeks of the Moon series, because we're going to the Ultra series very soon, so what better time to do it. And what I'm going to do on Friday, after we've played these five new teams this week, is put a poll up on Friday evening, just asking you guys which team you'd like to see most of all going into next week if you'd like to see it featured again and if you'd like to see some other teams featured as well so if you've got any teams at all that you'd like to see featured on the channel before we go into the ultra series in two weeks do comment in the comment section down below let me know what your thoughts are about these and I will do my best to try and feature them as we go forward in these last couple of weeks in the moon series so getting on to today's team I will do the unveil we've got Dustman the Crossman Kyogre a really really favorite core of mine I really love Dustman the Crossman Kyogre it's really fun to play and had a lot of success with that on the channel previously on streams as well so it's gonna be really nice to kick us off this week with this team there is a few variations of course and there is some gimmicks in the team that we've not seen um, and more of your standard does mean the Crosma Kyogre builds but we've got the the standard stuff there like the Serena it's Queenly Majesty ability help in hand feint lots of things it works under trick room as well which is the the primary goal of this does mean the Crosma Kyogre call you've got the Incineroar with the fake out support there the intimidate support dark typing as well which is really nice synergy with that does mean the Crosma then you've got the Toga Kiss as well for the redirection does support most things on the team pretty nicely there. We've also got Charm, which is something we saw Shade running on the Flinch Squad circuit with his Toga Kiss that he featured with his Sogaleo. Did so well in those matches when we saw that make an appearance. And then we've got the Feromosa, which is going to be kind of the key gimmick mon to this team with that speed swap. So what we've got is a Trick Room mod to the team, and we've also got that speed swap mod. So if we can get, say, a uh, Dustman and Crossma in a position where it's weakness policies propped, we can't really take too much advantage of the Trick Room. We can try and manoeuvre in Feromosa, get that speed swap onto it, and with that speed, with plus two across the board on the Dustman and Crossma on its attacks at least, it will, should be doing quite a lot of damage. And also we've got the Z-move on the Kyogre, so speed swapping onto that will be really a lot of fun, and it can do a lot of damage to your opponent and really catch them off guard. So I'm hoping that we can get it working today in this episode, because we're only going to be featuring this team for two games today, before hopefully putting the poll up on Friday, and you guys might want to see a bit more of it next week. But we'll just jump straight into it I will just say before we get into anything as always if you enjoy the sort of content make sure you do leave a like on the video make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our daily battle series this one right here a guide series plenty of circuit and our up stream uploads and talking about guides and things like that guys I have just finished all of our Ultra Series guides, so as soon as the Ultra Series does kick into effect, those guides will be going up on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any of those, and I think we've got a very good friend of mine going into this one, we've got Luigi, who is a very good patron of the channel, and uh, it's always a pleasure to play him, we've played him quite a few times on uh, our stream, so it's going to be nice to feature him here, and he's got that XY core with the Xerneas and Velto, so we'll get into Team Pre- so we've got the Eveltal, Xerneas, Salazzle, Landorus, Therian, Toxicroc, and Tapu Fini here playing. Uh, right, what we're going to see here, the Salazzle is interesting. I wonder if we do go with our speed swap stuff in this match. We could definitely try it. It, uh, it could work, but then also Trick Room is going to be pretty nice for us as well. The Toxicroc is going to be a bit of an issue for Kyogre, especially, but outside of that, Kyogre doesn't do too bad. The... Veltal is the one thing that I do worry about a little bit more than anything on this team, so we we'll need to be able to deal with that quite effectively, I think. Um, Incineroar with its Intimidate will really help out there. So I think I might lead... Hmm. Or do I want Serena? Because Serena's not bad in this team. 
at all. But at the same time, hmm. Also, Togger Kiss isn't bad, really, either. But then we want to try and get the speed swap going, don't we? That's the thing. So I'm going to go Faramosa, Kyogre. I'm going to go Serena, and I'm going to go Dustman of Crossma. It does mean that we're leaving Incineroar behind, but... I'm forcing this Faramosa speed swap onto us because we've only got two games and I need to make it work so if we can get it done in the first one we can be a bit more safe in our second game but it's just about having fun this week but we're going to try and do it as best we can obviously right we're going to see Luigi lead off with Toxicroaky Veltals definitely brought that and we lead off with Kyogre and Feromosa okay so the Veltals probably going to be a salt fest you've got to imagine Oh, we're going to see the Toxic Hogger. It's going to go for a fake out, I'd imagine. Um, we could just reposition our board here. Just go for a U-turn into Eveltal. And switch into Serena. It's just if we see a Poison Jab come out from the Toxic Hogger into the Kyogre. That wouldn't be ideal. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I, I hope they fake out. That's kind of the thing that I'm hoping we see. And we'll keep this this speed swap for later on if we can might not be the best oh what okay it's huh protect Eveltal so it's not your salt vest makes it a bit easier to deal with we're gonna see a poison jab as long as we don't get poisoned here we should be all right okay we don't we get away with it a little bit okay now knowing this I'm gonna speed swap our Serena and I'm going to switch Serena out to Dustman Necrozma. Or do I switch it out to Kyogre? Because then Kyogre has a Z move which can nuke the Veltal. Pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring the Kyogre back in. Back in. Okay, Eveltal switching out. Lander is coming in. Okay, this is fine. Get the Intimidate off. That's, that's totally fine. Just the Toxicroc is the one thing I've got to worry about a little bit. As long as it hasn't got feigned. But it won't go for it in front of Serena, I wouldn't have thought. So there's a speed swap. Perfect. Perfect. Poison jab. Go on, into the Feromosa. No! <laughs> okay, we don't get poisoned, which is the which is the main thing here. So I think we'll go into Yeah, we'll go into Necrozma now. And Yeah, I'm going to just protect Kyogre, because I, I totally see the lander is protecting here. We need to make sure that the Kyogre is still around for when that Eveltal comes in. Oh, we're going to see. It's going to be into Kyogre. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that that's kind of risky doing that in front of us, because we could have just nuked it. But I mean, we didn't, so we can't really complain too much. We're going to see the Tectonic Rage. It's going to be into Kyogre. Buying the Protect, though, will take this a lot better than we would have without it. Which would have probably knocked us out. Well, it definitely would have knocked us out, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we take that pretty comfortably here. Toxicroak on for a low kick. Um, and I think now we just go for... The photon. No, we got a Sunsteel Strike into the Toxicroak and we'll go for. I mean. Hmm. Yeah, we just Ice Beam the Landorus. Landorus probably protects here or switches out. And Kyogre should take a low kick from this Toxicroak. Should do. Yeah, it will do. 100%. Yeah, so we're going to see the landers just stay, and this should be enough to take it down. We want to preserve this Z move for for, his, for the Veltal when that comes back in, so we can nuke the Veltal. Lock kick into Kyogre. Yep. Like I say, we do take that. I didn't really want to fought on Geyser here because the Veltal could come in on that slot, and maybe we would have been better going for that. Kind of cut our losses if the Veltal comes in. We don't take damage with Kyogre, but uh, ooh, it's more than enough to take down the Toxic Rock. I'm not sure on the Kalks outside of that but hmm it's gonna be Xerneas in Eveltal I think coming in now yeah hmm. 
Now, what do you do if you're my opponent? Like the Veltal. Because what I want to do is switch in Xerneas, uh, Serena, sorry, and go for the Watarium Z onto the Veltal. Because I feel like you have to chase down that Necrozma because it's threatening that Xerneas so hard. But then again, you could protect the Veltal and use the Xerneas to take down the Kyogre here, expecting us to kind of switch our board positions up a little bit. So we'll bring the Serena in. No protect, so we should get this Eveltal, unless it's Sash. There's no way it takes this though. Super speedy, Kyogre. It's like having the Z move and a scarf all in one. It's perfect. And then the, the Xerneas is fine because Necrozma will just eat that for dinner or breakfast or whatever time of day it is where you guys are. So yeah, we get the Eveltal. Speed swap doing some work here. And there's the Geomancy, which is fine. Yeah. It's with Necrozma in the back, like we do not worry about that at all. Um it will outspeed us, of course. Mm, okay. So I think we probably we're probably alright just sacking Kyogre here. Because we don't really worry about the rain too much. Um and we you turn out on the Xerneas and We'll go for an origin pause just in case for some reason he moon blasts. Yeah, there's no way. Serena should take this. And we'll be able to get Dustmin across my back in. And a Sunsteel Strike will be enough to take down the Xerneas. I'm pretty sure. Especially if we help in hand it as well, just to doubly make sure. But I'm pleased we got the, the, the speed swap going in this first game. It's <laughs> I was expecting oh we'll probably not get to actually get it working, but it's it's worked out alright. So hopefully it works out for the rest of this game. We'll help in hand since you'll strike. It might be a bit of overkill, but just to just to make sure that we can uh, deal with this Xerneas. But I feel way more comfortable whenever I've got a Dustman and a Crossmer in front of a boosted Xerneas than I ever do with, with Sogolay, even though it's still doing like a ton of damage, isn't it? Um, we could have went for the slow route set but Trick Room, but there's honestly no need to do that here. So I will just say GG to Luigi. As always, my friend, it is a pleasure playing you. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the first game today to kick us off. So yes, we managed to overcome. And like, I think... The Kyogre, it, knowing that the Veltal wasn't a Soul Fest, made it a bit easier to deal with. Like, way easier to deal with. So, um, that made a big difference in the outcome of the match. I think, for us in particular, it just meant getting the Kyogre in a position where we could nuke the, the Veltal with that Z-move. And just making sure with the Serena on the field at the same time allowed us to do that. So, that was good. Hopefully, we can find our next opponent communicating right now still so we're just having a momentarily communicating <laughs> oh we lost connection with our opponent just a little bit sad a little bit sad but it's fine it's fine it might be us to be honest and I tell you what if this carries on I'll just cut to where we find our next opponent so we've got our next opponent of the episode so we'll jump straight into team preview we are going up against a Raichu Kyogre Tornadus, Eveltal, Toxicroc, and Landorus. So another one of these Kyogre, Eveltal, Landorus, and Toxicroc cores. We've got the Tornadus and Raichu tagged on in this one, opposed to our last one. Uh, okay, what are we going to do? At least there's no Xerneas here, but I mean, you kind of prefer the Xerneas when you've got a Dustman Necrozma. Uh, the Kyogre does cause a few more issues, um, but it's all about this Eveltal once again for, for my opponent and me able to utilize that. So, what are we going to go with here? I think Intimidate here for us is really good, but at the same time, you've got the Kyogre that we need to worry about a little bit. Do we want to go down a Trick Room route? I think probably, yes. Like, the Trick Room route seems the most feasible for us to go down here. Um, okay, so let's go Dustman and Crosma. Let's go... Do we go on Cinnabon? Or do we go Serena? Or do we go Togekiss? Togekiss could be decent here, uh, especially for the follow me. 
if the Veltal is something that my opponent uses. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Incineroar and I'm going to bring Kyogre as well. We do leave ourselves a little bit short against the opposing Kyogre, but I feel... Uh, nah, that'll be alright. That'll be alright. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. It's a bit of a shame that we're not going to get the, the speed swap going in this one, but we did get it in game one. And we want the team to be successful as well, so we've got to think about that as well at the same time. Um, not always about just getting the gimmicks going. Sometimes it, they're not always going to be the easiest thing to get going. And uh, in a team like this where you've probably got quite a heavy reliance on Tailwind, it might not kind of suit us as best as Trick Room would in these kind of situations. So we're going to see the Landorus Andy Velto come up for my opponent. Get that Intimidate off onto uh, Necrozma. I mean, one thing we could do here is potentially just switch it into Incineroar. Uh, get an Intimidate off onto that Landorus. Which would be pretty nice. Um, and we could Charm as well. I mean, that's one thing we could potentially do is actually just keep Necrozma on the field now. The one thing that really does cause us a lot of issues is that Landorus with its Earthquakes, Tectonic Rage as well. So we could potentially just go for a Charm into the, the Landorus. Hope we don't see a Rock Slide, which we do. And hopefully we don't get flinched, which would be terrible for us. Okay, doing more damage than what I expected it to do. Snarl coming out. Oh, why did we protect? <laughs> you want that to let... Oh, if we just trick room protected, that would have been ideal, wouldn't it? A weakness policy propped. And of course... Of course you flinch, Togekiss. <sighs> okay. Um, okay, tectonic rage is an issue, but at the same time, if you go for that, we can follow me it. I'm just going to follow me. I think you have to, you probably want to Earthquake here. It's pretty easy for you to do. But if they do, then that's fine. We'll take it. Just going for the Rock Slide again. Togek is avoiding, which is ideal. The Cosmo not going to take too much damage from that. And a Dark Pulse. So that follow me coming in super useful here. Although I kind of prefer to see a Snarl. Of course we flinch. How many times? Like, really? Are you absolutely kidding? Okay. Um, let's get Torakis out of here now. We've tried and failed at every attempt. Stopped by a flinch. It's because I'm wearing the shirt, that's why. Give my opponent the gold powers today. Right. We'll just protect this turn. I'm kind of presuming that Landorus is scarf, but it may not be. It is just dishing out those rock slides continuously, so it most likely is. It does decent damage into cinema even after an intimidate and then this is another snarl. Come on, snarl us! We want snarled into Anacrosma. Um, I don't really care about the... I mean... Do I let the Eveltal just snarl us? It could dark pulse us and flinch us. Let's, I kind of want the weakness policy activated. None is especially Veltal. It's not going to snarl now, though. Definitely not. It's probably going to dog pulse us, but we'll take it. If we flinch off this, though, I mean, DS goes out the window. <laughs> Legit. Legit. There's no need for this flinch. We get, we get the trick room. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. That Landorus is definitely locked into. Let's go Sensual Strike and U turn into the Veltal. May protect, but I don't know. The Landorus is likely switches out, yeah, which we see it do right now. Toxicroak going to come back in. Mm, yeah, we could see it protect for sure on the Veltal, but we're not going to. No Sucker Punch either. So plus one. Should do enough damage. Put it in U-turn range. Ooh, is U-turn going to be enough? I don't know if it is. Oh. We needed to flare blitz there. We needed to flare blitz. Uh, let's bring in Togekiss. Uh, we're going to go down with that Necrozma now, which is not ideal at all. But... Ooh, it's gone for a Snarl. Necrozma avoids. Okay. <laughs> kind of makes up for the flinches. <laughs> it's not really though, is it? Uh, so the Toxicroak in. 
Um, I'm going to protect Necrozma this turn just to get around the fake out abuse and just roost with top Tugakis. And hopefully we can get some health back. He's also going to switch out now. You can see the Raichu come in, so there's a double fake out support coming into this next turn. And I will stop putting pressure on a Togekiss, but we're fine to get around this. We do. We could have just attacked the Toxicroak. It hasn't even went for our, um, going for a low kick. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, we'll just photon geyser into the Toxicroak, and we will. Do we charm it as well? Yeah, let's charm it. Why not? Let's just really neuter it. There's a fake out coming out from the Raichu. It's going to be into the Necrozma. It's fine. Uh, we'll get the charm into this Toxicroak. If it goes for a low kick now, it's still not going to be enough to take down this Necrozma. We've got the fake out the next turn that we can utilize Gunk Shot. Okay. <sighs> Did not expect that. Um, but Togekiss is able to take it. Thank goodness. Oh, the poison though. The poison. That's not what we want to be seeing. I feel like Gunk Shot's one of those moves that just it shouldn't poison. It shouldn't poison at all. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, follow me. I don't want to get sucker punched on the Cosma. Poor Toga Kiss. I think without the poison, I'd probably go for a roost here. We'll get rid of the Toxic Oh, take it down to a Sash. Okay. Sash Croc. Hmm, low kick. Yeah, it doesn't take us down. Encore. Okay, we'll go down this next turn. But we know what my opponent's got in the back, you know. Like, the problem is going to be getting the Trick Room up again. But at the same time, we've got Incineroar to come in now. We can just fake out Raichu and just Trick Room. Like, there is no problem just doing that. And I mean, that puts us right back in a way nicer position. And then try and get Kyogre in to close the game up as soon as the Toxic Rock goes down. So we'll just Trick Room and, like I say, just fake out this Raichu. We've got to worry about the Intimidate coming in from this Landorus as well. But the Evelto so low, the Toxic Rock so low. I don't think you can deal with, like, yeah, the Landorus probably coming in now. Yeah. But even a double up from Necrozma and. Incineroar into that Landorus this next turn probably will be enough to take it down, I would imagine. Don't really care about the Raichu and what it's doing. Like, it's not going to be able to encore us this turn because of the Trick Room. Yeah, okay, and we'll just double up. Um, we'll Sun Seal Strike just in case into that Landorus. And go for a Fliblets as well. I'm hoping minus one. Flare Blitz and just a neutral Sun Seal Strike is enough to get this Landorus. It might not be. Who knows? Let's see. We'll find out right now, though. Because it's going to Earthquake otherwise. That makes things slightly more difficult for us. Because if we can't get rid of it now... Ah, oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. All day long. Forget how strong Dustman Necrozma is sometimes. Yeah, so we get rid of that. Does ride to you, ride you to utilize the fair count come back in? I think ah, oh, it's toxic rock. Okay. Um, didn't reveal fake out, but it's definitely got fake out. I'm just gonna double the Evaltal here, U-turn and Sun Seal Strike into that slot. There's a fake out. Yeah, into Necrozma. We'll get this U-turn into Evelto, pick up the knockout here, and then Raichu does come back in. We are going to get the Kyogre in, unfortunately, which will heal up this Toxicroak a little bit. But I mean, even then, we just double the Toxicroak, I think, the next turn. Just Ice Beam, Photon Geyser, and that will be more than enough to get it. It's not a Salt Vest, so it's not going to be taking the Ice Beam like super comfortably. And that should wrap it up, although we didn't get the speed swap here in this game. The team's the team performs well without it, you've just got the gimmick aspect to it. So we'll go for that Photon Geyser into the Toxicroak and the Ice Beam. 
And we'll see it fake out, but which slot? Oh, it's into the Kyogre. That's interesting. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. For my opponent, you're kind of just hoping that I make a, a mistake and it's going to be and a horrific one from this point. Like, there's not much you can do with the Trick Room up. Raichu, lowly Raichu on the field. We'll go for that Photon Geyser and just walk us about. We don't need to Z-move. We don't need the extra animation here, do we? And we'll get this Photon Geyser. And this should be game, so very good game to my opponent. And uh, a nice double victory for us with this team today. And like I say, we got to feature that speed swapping game on, which was the main goal of the team going into today. And um, at least we got it off. And then we kind of showed the other part portion of the team working well like we know Dustman across my Kyogre can work well in this format anyway so we're gonna wrap it up there guys I hope you've enjoyed today's episode it's been a lot of fun recording it and uh, doing these games and uh, like I said we'd normally be back with it again to test it even more tomorrow but we'll not be we'll be back with another team to feature in tomorrow's episode so stay tuned for that do leave your comments in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think of today's team and if you're gonna maybe vote to see it again next week because it's a lot of fun I feel like it is but remember we've got four more teams to feature this week we'll put a poll up on Friday and then you guys can get voting for which team you'd like to see going into next week, the final week of the Moon Series. So, guys, thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. Have a great day, afternoon, morning, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. And I will see you all for the next episode tomorrow. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.